Hello friends. Today we are doing a battle of the mascaras. These are both waterproof mascaras because my lashes hold no curl. My lashes are very thin, brittle, all that jazz. I do put serums on them every night in hopes that they grow, become long and beautiful, but you know, I've got what I've got. So right now I've got my entire face on except for mascara which this look is crying for some lashes. It's just amazing how much better this will all look once I put some lashes on. Um, but today I have my tried and true, literally the mascara I've been wearing at least for over a year now. This is the Exhibitionist CoverGirl Waterproof Mascara um, in very black. This is just the regular Exhibitionist, but waterproof. They came out with a different one probably a while ago. This has been sitting in my bin for a minute, but this is the Exhibitionist Stress, Stretch and Strengthen Mascara that is also waterproof. Now, the brushes themselves are quite different. If you know Exhibitionist, it's kind of a, you know, what are they called? Not butterfly, but it goes up and down in the middle. Kind of that hourglass wand. That's a good word for it. Definitely hourglass. It's not the same with this Strength and Strengthen. Str stretch. Stretch and strengthen is just kind of a straight across wand. Um, I tried this once a long time ago, <laughs> wasn't a fan, but I wanted to give it some time to dry up because we know mascaras sometimes I think need a week or two to really get uh, the proper consistency of what's actually in the tube. So yeah, we're gonna try it out. I am going to definitely curl my lashes because I do that for any and every mascara. Um, so yeah, let me curl. And then I think it is going to be my left, perhaps your right, but definitely my left, I'm gonna put the regular stuff on. And then on the right, I'm gonna put the, uh, what is it? Stretch, stretch, stretch and strengthen. So huh? yeah, stretch and strengthen. All right, so regular one is going on the left. I'm going to do upper and lower lashes. Um, yeah. This tube I've had for a while as well. I have a new one waiting for me, but truly, in my life, I feel like I've enjoyed CoverGirl mascaras the most um, out of any other kind of drugstore brand. I just think they do really well. I feel like I can definitely see a beautiful lift, full volume, length, I just really love the original, so let's go in with the not original and uh, see how she does for stretch and length, strengthen, stretch and length, stretch and strengthen. Goodness. I feel like I can already tell this isn't as voluminizing. I mean, it definitely gives some decent length. Um, and it has it is doing a good job of separating my lashes but i'm noticing also it's starting to droop more so my lashes are already starting to come down which is what i definitely struggle with um but i don't have that problem with the original so that's kind of a bummer especially considering this is waterproof i usually have a decent time using a waterproof mascara and making sure that my curl stays up but yeah this my curl is gone like my curl she is descending immediately um that i'm not a fan of so i'm probably going to try to hold her up with a brush or something see if she can dry um a little bit better um yeah mm -mm. uh-oh Oh, the worst time to sneeze is when you're trying to do mascara, but um, I kind of look straight forward and try to have my lashes clap together instead of onto my face. I mean, I feel like it does nicely on the lower lashes, but I'm really just disappointed um, at the fact that it really makes my lashes fall. Pretty much as I suspected, the original is what I enjoy. It still gives lift, Volume, separation, everything. <sighs> the stretch and strengthen definitely gives a good amount of separation. I don't believe it gives as much volume as the original, but the thing that's the biggest con for me is it makes my lashes droop. My lashes are significantly lower. I want them to stay up and curled and together. Um, 
and that just does not happen with this, which is really disappointing because it is waterproof. Um, so yeah, if your lashes don't struggle with, you know, curl or anything like that, this might be a really nice one for you. I feel like in a sense, this is perhaps more of a natural version of this. Um, but yeah, when I do makeup like this, I certainly don't want any natural looking lashes. So that's just on me. All right, my friends, thanks so much for joining me. And I want to do some more of these in the future because I just find them helpful. And hopefully you do too. All right, wherever you are and whatever you may be doing, I hope you're able to do something that you love every single day. Bye, friends.